Hey, what's going on YouTube? Marine X back at it again. It is time to transition the emergency equipment that's been sitting around your garage, your storage space, your attic, your basement. Get it back into the vehicle for the winter time before it becomes entirely too late. Here are 10 emergency EDC items that should live in your vehicle right now. I say 10, we may have a couple of bonus items, but in essence, my vehicle, the main truck is almost always stocked, rocked and ready to go. There are a few things I change out throughout the year, but there's not a lot of things I swap out, maybe some tents here or there. But when it comes to the spouse's vehicle, there are things that I have to add, take away from because she wants to maintain a certain level of space in her vehicle, her tool kit, her survival kit and her jack her fire extinguisher, those things stay in there year round, but there are other things I have to add. These are the other things that I'm gonna add to her vehicle. You should also add to yours. And we'll talk about some stuff that kind of lives in her vehicle year round. Links will be down below if you wanna find any of that stuff. Some of those may be affiliate links, just kind of letting you know, whatever I find, et cetera, et cetera. Now, when it comes to her kit, everything lives in this Rue 70 liter tote style bag, has a see-through area in the very front here and very big it's what i like about this and i might have to do an entire video about it is it's like a pelican or a plano box or a yeti or a rome or any of those type of competitors but it's completely able to be pressed against and kind of squeezing into some of those tighter areas it's 100 percent waterproof you can take this out on a boat there's a lot of things i like about it and we'll probably dive deep into that on its own video this just keeps me from having to put like another pelican something that's insanely just to be honest with you something that's like super rugged looking she doesn't want that type of look in her vehicle so i like that but the two things that don't go inside of this for a couple of reasons is the first one is an ice scraper and a snow brush now we live in texas we get ice and snow maybe once every other year but before that we were getting it every five or six years it's coming more often i'm telling you there are times whether it is the wife's vehicle or my vehicle that even if the city is shut down there are places i have to go to get milk or diapers or eggs or whatever scraping the windshield off brushing the snow off comes in handy pick them up on amazon pick them up at your walmart it, you should be putting this back in your vehicle don't use your credit card don't use your hands don't sit in your vehicle forever don't use your windshield wipers have a good way to be able to scrape that stuff off so you can keep your vehicle up and going the next item here is a very small this is called the rescue me glass breaker now this rescue me is the most popular item on amazon for glass breakers it's extremely easy to use and it has three levels of functionality first off it comes in very very small it's a neon green color so hopefully if you do get an accident or a crash your eyes can still see it so cover it up here is so the keychain is one feature the second feature here is it's covering a seat belt cutter you pull that off so you can easily take this off the actual keychain and use it while it's still the keychain being attached here the seatbelt cutter is accessible right there and then the very back here has an actual glass breaker which is pretty easy to use all you do is literally get that thing up against this surface push down and it will actually engage the glass breaker and you can use it multiple times on a, p a glass put it in the corner so if it does shatter doesn't shatter all over yourself all right so the first thing is a fire extinguisher this is my first alert this one is for a kitchen okay this is a kitchen fire extinguisher but this is a placeholder to just let it be known that you yourself should have some type of fire extinguisher in your vehicle the wife her vehicle's not here right now but she has a first alert vehicle fire extinguisher in there first alert sells it for vehicles kitchen man caves garages attics uh, but they're pretty much interchangeable but just make sure you have the correct one make sure you have the ability to test your fire extinguisher let it be known if it's still functioning it still works it's very small this is going to be something that you're going to be able to quickly grab out and at least address a fire in your vehicle or someone else's vehicle if you roll up onto a scene i like the fact that this basically fits anywhere but in this case it's going to fit in this case she has one in her vehicle at all times because this shouldn't be an item that's just going in seasonally you should always have one with you the next item is a six gauge jumper cables now you may need bigger jumper cables the lower the number the bigger the gauge for the jumper cables for instance these are six gauge jumper cables for my truck i would probably put some four gauge jumper cables in here so you can even tell by the thick just the thicker ones here are this the four gauge if i were going to be putting those in my truck i do enjoy keeping the 
the the jump starters and stuff like that in the vehicles but there's something about having a pair of jumper cables in the vehicle that if that battery bank is dead if it's not functioning correctly you can still hook this up to someone else's vehicle and keep yourself rolling instead of wondering what you're going to do next so if you have the room i know everybody's buying those battery banks but throw yourself some jumper cables in the vehicle speaking of those little battery bank operated jumper cable things we do have one here this is by mook or Moik, or however you pronounce the case. It's in a pretty decent little case as well. It has a slip pocket in the back. There's nothing special about this. There's a dime a dozen of these on Amazon, but there's only two brands that I've purchased and I've personally used. I've had this one and I've had Avapow. They both have worked. They jump my vehicles and I know that they function. So I like to just go with what I know. This one here has a nice battery indicator on the front, lets you know exactly how much charge is left on it. So you can know this thing is at 100% and it's ready to rock and roll. This is a 1500 amp so this is going to be able to jump my truck it's going to be able to jump her vehicle she drives a lincoln aviator so it's going to be good to go it's also a battery bank so these usb-c cables on the front here you can actually use those and uh use this as a battery bank it has a flashlight next inside of here is my favorite national alert radio my favorite NOAA radio is by midland now I have a lot of different brands of these emergency radios. They've came with kits. I bought them on my own. I, they've came with some prepackaged survival kits. Midland has the most durable filling one. It has the one with the best solar power charger. I've tested these all out in the sun to see which one can go from zero to actually charging it up. This one was the best versus its competitors. It's made of a hard plastic, but it doesn't feel super cheap. Like a lot of these other ones feel very cheap. It's a very capable and long antenna. So you're gonna get better capabilities for a signal. And it also has the, the fact that this thing is a battery bank. So you can also use the out ports on this and charge any devices that you might have. It has a headphone port, so you don't have to play it through the loudspeakers. It's hand crank available, so if you need to actually just get a quick charge, you can use the hand crank feature, which a lot of these have. And it has a very massive flashlight. And I know the, the jump starter has a flashlight, but this one's even bigger, even more capable, something else I would more prefer to use. So if you're gonna be working on anything outside your vehicle, if you're changing the flat, if you're checking to see what's going on, you want a headlamp so you can go hands-free around that. So we do have a Columbia headlamp. This is just a very capable brand, very capable company. This uses AAA batteries. And that way, if you're working on it, you can always know that you can just buy some batteries and throw them in here, or you can, uh, keep extra ones with you as well and it's going to be good to go this has a tilting f f functionality so it goes from here almost about 45 degrees so you can use this while it's on your grape and it's reasonably priced and i like it because these have been in here for a while and they still work and so just i'm gonna have a headlamp so you can go hands-free it makes a lot of sense now i think that you can have a small toolkit the wife has an entire toolkit in her vehicle so the next item is a suggested item for you because she doesn't need it. But if you have no tools in your vehicle at all, please at a minimum, keep a multi-tool inside. This is a Leatherman Mutt. You might wanna get yourself like a Leatherman Signal, a Leatherman Surge, uh, or a Leatherman Mutt. Anything with a hammer capability, very big, beefy, capable pliers on there. Just something that you know, if you actually have to put these things to use, they're gonna work just fine. I recently had to use these. I didn't have to, but I decided to use them on my rear left brake caliber. I was actually leaking brake fluid and it needed an eight millimeter uh socket but i was just able to take this tighten it get the dirt out of there tighten that thing put a cap on it and keep rolling down the road and actually put more brake fluid into my vehicle and i was good to go those small little subtle changes like that imagine you have like a panel coming off on your vehicle if you have a door handle coming to loose you can fix a lot of different things with the multi-tool so guys if you don't have an ouchie boo boo kit in your vehicle all year round then i guess take the time now to go ahead and slap one in there in your vehicle this is just a an ouchie boo boo kit which is mostly diy i'm going to link some down below which i like especially from adventure medical supply from urban medical gear uh, from 11, uh, 1110 Tactical, any of those kits I like that are kind of pre-built, I'll link those down there as well. You don't need a Leatherman Raptor tool, but we'll say this is a bonus item. This also includes a, a glass breaker, but unlike what I showed you guys when that the the Rescue Me glass breaker, you actually have, you have to actually swing your arm to use this glass breaker, so you can actually hurt your own wrist or something like that. But it's very capable. 
and you can use this to cut clothing and have it ready to go. But whatever you're gonna need for a med kit, keep, you know, keep that thing inside, keep it ready to go. And just saline, gauze, band-aids, ouchie boo boo stuff. You don't need trauma items in here, but if you can have the stuff where it's very easily labeled and you can easily just grab the things out of it that you may need and just take that specific item with you, I would say do that versus just stuffing a bag full of crap. All right, so we talked about the little inky dinky flashlights that are on the weather radio and the jump starter, but you need a real flashlight and not the flashlight that's on your hip. You need a flashlight that can pump out lumens and can have a nice far throw. I have the Streamlight. This is the ProTac 5-LX. I think that's what this one specifically. Yeah, so the 5-X. This is a big boy flashlight. This thing pumps out, I think max level 3000 lumens has a very far throw. I like the fact if you need to get out and inspect a bumper, you get in an accident, you need to see if you lost something around the ground. Imagine if something falls out your vehicle while you're driving, you stop within 10 feet. You don't wanna be using your cell phone light to look around on the ground, especially if it's cold outside. You want something that's pumping out tons of lumens. And you know, this is not an inspection light. So you're not gonna be taking this thing and looking in the bay, the bay of your, underneath the hood of your vehicle and trying to fix stuff. It's probably gonna to be too powerful for that. But illuminating the ground, checking to see damage for an accident, checking the tree lines of some woods. This is your go-to for stuff like that. Now, we live in the South. But I'm telling you, you, just never know what the winter and fall could look like. There has been cases when people have been stuck on I-95, stuck on I-20, in that cab of their vehicles, they run out of gas or they're trying to conserve gas. You need a wool blanket, 100% wool blanket, not 70% wool, 30% polyester, something that's a wool blanket, a decent size that can actually wrap around your body similar to something like this. This is going almost all the way down to my ankle so i can easily put me two three of my kiddos in here probably get the whole family wrapped in this thing and stay nice and warm i think that you can try to put a cotton blanket in there but it's just something about a wool blanket that's just going to keep your body keep you at at ease that i think is more functional comment down below what am i missing what is there anything that you would add there's some things i could have talked about as well you could add some uh, some radios in there you can maybe add some some laplander saws i understand the different things that you can put in there but this is the type of kit that i know will qualify in most people's cars because most people aren't gonna be running around with radios and all the other type of stuff like it's in my vehicle I would love to know what am I missing for this kid? Would you add gloves or beanies or whatever? If this is your first time stopping by, hit that subscribe button. We would love to have you part of the battalion. If this is not your first time stopping by, well, thank you once again for watching me run my great. For everyone else, we'll speak soon.